Hello everyone. So before starting this tutorial, I'll show you how a PCB that we have designed looks like. So this is basically a PCB of stereo FM receiver, and this is schematic. Now I'll show you how our PCB looks like when fab uh, routed. So this is after routing and doing all the stuff. I'll show you 3D representation. So this is 3D representation of our PCB in different orientations so this is back side and now this is front side uh, this is how it will look after uh, placing all the components on our pcb and fabricating it on the machine hello everyone myself aniket and along with my teammates will be teaching how to design pcb on easy EDS software or website go to easy EDS website and register Then select our file and then new, go to project. After sel selecting project, uh, title your project, whatever you want. Since I am doing AC to DC converter, I will name it as AC to DC converter. After this, we have to select components and place it on this canvas. So for doing that, go to library, search for any component that you want. Since I want a diode, I will search for it and I will select it. IN4007A. I will place it. Okay. Since I want 5 diodes, I will place 5 diodes on canvas. 2, 1, 3. What you have to do is, uh, firstly you have to place components randomly anywhere on this canvas. After this, next step will be drawing schematic using these components. I will select next component. Make sure that you look at this pinout diagram which is on right hand side in black uh, window. Uh, okay. And make sure that you are selecting correct component. Because there are many versions of a component. It can be SMD or through hole. Uh, since I am doing through hole PCB, I will be selecting through hole components. And if you want to make a, P a PCB that has SLD components, you can select those components. But make sure you select appropriate components. And uh, now you can see I am following this diagram or this is my reference for AC to DC converter. You can see I have already placed 4 diodes, 2 electrolytic capacitors and 1 LM7805. Okay. So I will go ahead and place components randomly on my canvas. Further, Shubham will explain you how to draw a schematic. And after that, Mandar will show you how to uh, design that PCB. Hi everybody. I am Shubham Rakhar and today we will see the whole process of schematic making for AC to DC converter. So let us begin. Now let us see some of the shortcuts. Left click or double click to select a component. Escape to deselect a component or tool. Select component and spacebar to change the orientation of the component. Left click and move the cursor to move the tool to desired location so in the beginning first of all we will arrange all the components according to the circuit diagram which we are referring here u7 is the screw terminal which is used to connect the output of the step down transformer to the diode bridge rectifier in the circuit and once that is placed we will start with the placement of all the diodes for the rectifier circuit and placing them all together one by one according to the circuit diagram now after completing the connections for the diode bridge rectifier circuit we are going to add input to it. The input is given through a screw terminal. 
here the screw terminal is represented by u7 for connecting the input to the to diode bridge rectifier it is essential that we connect on the joint that we click on the joint where there where there is where the connection is to be made as we see in the circuit diagram the input is provided now the connections for <coughs> filtering and regulating circuits will be made the filtering circuit consists of two capacitors namely c1 and c3 the ic u6 is the voltage regulator ic which will be used to regulate the voltage given out by filtering circuit we start the connection by first doing the appropriate placement of the circuit of the filtering and regulating circuit now as shown in the circuit diagram the positive output which is the which which is the point where the negative n n side of row 1 and row 2 diodes is connected is the positive side and the side to which p side of row 1 and row 2 diode is connected is the negative side as shown in the circuit so we connect the positive side to the filtering circuits which has c1 and c3 in parallel after adding after doing the connection by using the wiring tool we we do the connection for the voltage regulator circuit the voltage regulator ic has three terminals in ground and out in pin takes the filtered voltage and out pin gives out the regulated voltage regulated signal after connecting the positive rail positive side of the circuit we will add a diode in parallel to the voltage regulator ic but in opposite direction this is done to prevent the law any damage caused by the reverse current generated during use of a motor or any similar device now further we connect the negative side of the side of the pcb connecting all the negative terminal all the negative terminals of the capacitors to pin number 2 of output screw terminal here output screw terminal here to ensure proper connections it is essential that wherever there is a joint wherever there is a conjunction between two wires there should be a prop there should be a, the point should be clicked unless there is a red dot appearing on it this helps in giving us an idea that the connection is properly made after doing all the connections we need to ensure that all the connections are properly done this can be done by cross checking all the all the connections again with the circuit diagram once done we may add a particular text which we need here we are adding the pin outs of voltage regulator ic the first pin is for input second pin is for ground and the third pin is for output now this was about how to generate a schematic for a particular circuit diagram on easy eda now further on we will move towards how to convert this circuit diagram schematic into a pcb this part will be taken by my dear friend mandar patel thank you thank you myself mandar patel and now we will see how we can convert our schematic diagram into a pcb layout to do this we will click on design button after clicking on design button we will see an option called convert schematic to pcb uh, we need to click on that option 
before clicking on that option ensure that you have saved your schematic diagram uh, now you would see a black canvas which is pcb canvas on that canvas a pop-up window named new pcb will occur in that new pcb window we need to set some parameters like unit board outline xy coordinates width and height i usually make uh, my pcbs in mm scale and set xy to zero you can adjust these values according to your need after setting these parameters you will see a purple outline this is the board outline of our pcb now we have to move each component in that outline while moving our components to our pcb outline uh, avoid overlapping of components as overlapping may create a short circuit now we need to adjust the orientation of each component while adjusting the orientation uh, we have to arrange all the components in such manner that crossing of two wires is minimum let's route the pcb before starting the routing process we need to set the routing width i usually design it in 1 mm width uh, routing can be done in two ways first is automatic and second is manual let's see how to do it in manual way so for doing that we need to select the wiring tool after selecting the wiring tool uh, we will see two perpendicular lines uh, which will be in red color uh, ensure that you have selected bottom layer uh, then start tracing the wires which are as per our schematic uh, while doing this process avoid 90 degree or sharp turns of our wires as they may not get printed uh, while performing the etching or pcb fabrication process now let's see how to perform it in automatic or auto routing way to perform auto routing uh, first of all we need to click on route uh, then we will see an auto route option after clicking on that option a new window will open the select top and all layer option then click on design rule 
After clicking on design rule, adjust the trace width and other settings in that panel. Then click on run button. Once you have completed the routing, it's time to finalize our design. You can add any final touches like label or outlines for your PCB. see the 3D view of our PCB by clicking on the 3D button. So as you can see this is the 3D view of our PCB. Finally to generate the Gerber file of our PCB we have to click on file then we will see many options like export, export BOM etc. First we have to click on export then click on PDF then adjust these properties like uh, uh, I have done in this video then click on export now uh, your PDF file will be downloaded again click on file then click on generate PCB fabrication file then our Gerber file will start downloading and that's it you have successfully created a PCB Gerber file Thank you.